I have talked a lot about coordinating your weekly cleaning routine with your kids' chores, especially if they are young children or if you are just doing chores for the first time with your kids. But it's not always clear exactly how to do that. So in this video, I am going to show you how I coordinate my middle daughter, my five-year-old's weekly chores with my cleaning routine. And that really helps us make sure that everything gets done every week and I'm close by if she needs any help. If you'd like any more details about why you might want to do this, you can check out the video I did on 11 mistakes parents make when it comes to chores. And I go over a lot more details in that video. So I will link that in the cards and in the description if you want to check that out. And if you would like to see my eight-year-old and my five-year-old's complete morning and evening checklists with all of their little chores that they do throughout the day, you can see that in the last video that I did. So in this video, when I am talking about her chore, I am just talking about that one line on her morning routine that says morning chore. This is going to kind of fill in the blank and show you what that means for her by each day of the week. Now, like I have mentioned in both of the previous videos, my middle daughter loves variety. So her chore changes from day to day and her chore coincides with whatever I am doing for cleaning that day. Now, if you would like to follow along with what I am doing in this video and you would like your templates to look like mine, you can grab my autopilot printable workbook, which I will link in the description down below or if you prefer to do things digitally, I also have a Google Sheet option for the Autopilot workbook as well. And it has all of the same pages. It's just in a spreadsheet form if you prefer to organize things that way. And of course, if you don't want to do either of those things, you can always just pause this and grab a blank piece of paper or a notebook and create your templates however you would like them to look. So if you are just starting out with creating your children's chore routine, the first thing that I recommend you look at if you have the autopilot workbook or the worksheet is the chores by age page or tab in the worksheet. And that just shows you for every age range, an appropriate number of chores for the children to be doing each day and also which chores are age appropriate for them. Now, the next thing that you will find handy if you are creating your cleaning routine and coordinating it with your child's is to have a weekly cleaning routine template, or you can have a blank piece of paper where you can write your cleaning routine in. I'm not going to spend a ton of time on this step in particular, because I do have several full videos about how to create a weekly cleaning routine. And I will link those for you if you want to create your own. But for this video, I will mainly be focusing on this family chore calendar, as I call it. And this is just going to help me organize the weekly chores that my daughter will be doing with the weekly chores that I will be doing. It's going to help me see which block the chores will be done in and on which days of the week. So the first thing that you want to do when you are coordinating the chores is you want to assign the chores to your children first. Now, I'm just going to explain something a little bit here. I mentioned in the 11 mistakes that parents make, one of the mistakes being parents will assign chores before they figure out their own routines. So we are assuming that you have had your routines in place, your home is humming along nicely, and now is the time when you're going to start implementing chores. At that point, you want to look at this as a clean slate with chores. Don't think to yourself, well, I'm already taking care of this and this, so the kids don't need to do that. I need to assign them something else look at which chores will be best suited for each child, which chores will be best for their age, the difficulty level, all of these things, and assign them their chores first. Then you can pick up the slack in any other area that is needed. Now, if you kind of want to see what I'm talking about here, go back and watch a couple of my old cleaning routine videos where I show you exactly what my cleaning routine is. And you will see compared to this video, my cleaning routine has morphed and changed over time because as my kids have gotten older, they have been able to do more chores and it may make sense for them to be doing a chore now that I used to do. And that means that I can just pick up the slack in a different area and it doesn't really matter to me who's doing which chores as long as all of the chores get done. So I always recommend when you are at the point of assigning chores to make sure the kids kind of have first choice of the chores. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to write the days of the week across the top of my template. And then I'm also going to write which 
block of the day each of these rows represents. So I can see exactly which time of the day the chores are going to get done by which person. So like I just mentioned in the last video, we do the majority of our cleaning and our chores in the morning, and that just is what works best for our daily schedule. If your kids go to school during the morning, it may make more sense for your chores to be done in the afternoon or evening. But I will be writing these chores in that morning block, and I have my phone here because I actually have all of this written on the side of my fridge. I have some of that dry erase, clear, cling that you can put on the fridge. I don't really know what you call it, but I can write in dry erase markers and erase it on my fridge. So I have it all written out on there. So it's easy for everyone to see. Sunday for us, like I have mentioned, is kind of a different day. We are generally very busy on the weekends, doing lots of fun things outside. So for me in my cleaning routine, my only job for Sunday is to put everything away. I try to tidy up, put back all of the backpacking stuff or the camping stuff or whatever we had been doing that weekend and just kind of reset the house as far as putting everything back where it goes. So I will go ahead and write that on here for me. I'm not going to do it in the morning on Sunday just cause we're often gone or busy. So I'm going to do that in the evening. So tidy up will be what I put in that block. Then Monday, we'll start when we are doing the chores in the morning block. So on Monday, we have two bathrooms upstairs and her chore is to clean the mirrors in both of those bathrooms and the sinks and counters in both of those bathrooms. So I will go ahead and write that. And then the way that I coordinate for that chore is my Monday chore is to clean both of the upstairs tubs. So that works pretty well while she's working in the master bathroom. I will clean the master bathroom tub and we're usually done about the same time. And then we will move on to the kids tub and bathroom. So I'm just going to write down for myself tubs. And then we are on to Tuesday. So then for Tuesday, she vacuums the stairs. We have the kind of vacuum, it's a shark vacuum where the whole thing kind of comes apart however you need it to. There's lots of different configurations and she can easily just take the small part of the vacuum and do the stairs. And how my tour coordinates with that is on Tuesdays, I now vacuum the upstairs and the downstairs. Now, if you've seen my old videos on this, you know this is not how I used to do it. I used to only vacuum the downstairs when I was cleaning the downstairs bathroom and I would vacuum the upstairs when I was cleaning the upstairs bathroom. But now that the chores are more dispersed and we do things differently, we have different assignments to different people, I don't have to do that anymore. And it doesn't take me long once the vacuum is already out, which it is on Tuesday, to do both of the floors. So for her, I will put vacuum stairs on Tuesday. Now, Wednesday is a crazy day for us. Every day, twice a day, we are at the pool between swimming lessons and swim team for my older daughter. So it's already fairly busy every day. And then on Wednesday, I add in music lessons for both of the girls. One takes cello, one takes violin. And for violin, we drive 30 minutes each way to see this certain violin teacher because she's really great and we really like her. So it's a very busy day from start to finish. So we need to have a very light amount of chores and things that aren't going to take much time. So Wednesday for my daughter is take out the garbages because it is also garbage day. And what I have her do also, which works really well for keeping the garbages from starting to stink, is we get this stuff at the dollar store called awesome. And it really is awesome, it works for everything. It can get things out of clothes that I never thought possible. Like when my daughter spilled hibiscus tea, which is bright red all over a white dress, put that stuff on it and you would have never known. It's amazing. So I have her spray some awesome into the garbage cans and just wipe out the inside, wipe out the outside as she's taking the garbages out. So that is her chore on Wednesday, garbages. And garbage cans. 
videos to remind her that there are two steps to that one. And for me, obviously, I need something short and sweet as well so I can run them everywhere they need to go. So that is the day I do my upstairs dusting. Then one of my five-year-old's chores is to make bread, and we do that on Thursday. So I'm just going to put make bread here for her. Now, last week we ended up with a very crazy, somewhat stressful bread fiasco, and long story short, we ended up with eight loaves of bread instead of four. And what this all proved to me is that I still need to be very present whenever we are doing the bread. My goal with all of their chores is to make them independent with it, and I thought she was a little closer to independence than she happened to be. So, with that being said, one of my chores for Thursday is also to make bread. Because making bread is a big process. We do the whole thing from scratch, and when you make bread from scratch, there's also a lot of cleanup, and it just takes a while from putting all the ingredients in. We have a Bosch mixer that actually does the kneading, but you still have to be there. You have to watch it. You have to be adding the flour, making sure that it's not you know, shaking itself off the counter. You can't just, it's not a bread machine. It's still very much a hands-on process. And then once it's done, we have to form it into loaves. We have to clean the kitchen. And it's just a long process. And it's something I need to be very involved in. But she is at the point where I can say, add this much of this. And often, usually she knows if I say, how much honey do you put in? She can tell me. So I can walk her through the process just being nearby. But I can't be off doing something that is completely different. So in addition to making the bread, I will also often wipe down the microwave or do some things like that in the kitchen. I'm still very close by but I'm also getting something else done at the same time while giving her some independence and increasing her confidence with making the bread. So I'm going to write that down as well. Um, I'm going to put, I think I'm gonna put clean appliances, even though I'm not deep cleaning them, but just wiping them down, just having everything look neat. Sometimes I'll clean the refrigerator out or, or things like that, just little things in the kitchen as I have time. And when you do wipe down the microwave or something like that every week, it really doesn't take long to do. Same with cleaning out the refrigerator and things like that. And again, if you have watched my old videos on this, I did not take the time to clean out the microwave every week. But now that my kids are getting older and taking on more responsibility, I can do some of the things like cleaning out the microwave or dusting, things that kind of got pushed on the back burner when my kids were really little. So the cool thing about teaching your kids to do chores is it actually enables your house to get cleaner over time instead of the other way around. So I'm just going to put, yeah, clean kitchen appliances. Now on Friday, that is the day for her to do the downstairs mirror sink and counter. We just have one little half bath downstairs, so it doesn't take her long at all to do that. So in addition to that, she also dusts the downstairs furniture. We have a piano and a couple of lamps. It's not much, I don't have any end tables or anything like that. So she will wipe those down as well and get the downstairs dusting done. So downstairs and dust. Now for me on Friday, because our weekends are often chaotic, <laughs> they're not bad, they're a lot of fun, but we're often backpacking or out of town visiting friends or family or in the winter skiing or things like that on the weekends, I need to do some extra cooking on Friday. So sometimes I need to make a big pot of beans if we're going to be, you know, kind of out and about coming home, needing to eat some burritos quick before we go to bed, or I'll make some granola if we're going to be leaving early or just things like that. If I need to do any sort of prep cooking before the weekend, which I often do, I will do that on Friday. So while she is doing her downstairs chores, I will be in the kitchen, which our house isn't that big, so we're basically in the same room. It's just one great room. And again, I'm close enough. If she needs any help, I am right here, even though we aren't in the exact same space as she's doing her chores. And she's been doing chores on some level since she was about three, just little things, helping out. It may have even been two that she started doing some basic wiping things down as I was cleaning the bathrooms, things like that. So she's very comfortable with chores. 
If your child is younger than five, or if this is their first time with chores, you may need to be in the bathroom with them if they are wiping down the mirrors or whatever, or you may need to be right next to them showing them how to dust if they aren't comfortable with these things. But for us, this works just fine. So I'm going to put extra cooking and I don't know what that means. I can't spell very well. Does anybody else struggle with spelling? That has always been one of my weak points. Extra cooking. And especially if I'm trying to talk at the same time, it doesn't work very well. So that is the morning chores for my middle daughter and myself. And I'm not putting my eight-year-old's chores on here because again, hers stay the same throughout the week and her morning checklist is more than sufficient for doing her chores. She doesn't need it to be on the family calendar. She can be in charge of that, it's no problem. So when you are creating your chore routine, once you've kind of coordinated your basic chores with your child's, if you want, you can also fill in your weekly cleaning routine. And I highly recommend doing this, putting on your chores on the first few lines, and then writing in which block of the day you are going to wash your clothes, dry your clothes, and fold your clothes in. And that will help keep you accountable for when you are doing your laundry and it makes sure things don't get stuck at any of the steps. For me, I won't be putting it on my cleaning routine because that is now my eight-year-old's job. She makes sure the laundry goes through all the cycles and we don't have to worry about that anymore. But I do still need to fold the laundry and she usually gets through the washing and the drying and then she sorts all the clothes into piles for each person to fold their own clothes. And she usually does that still in the morning block so we can get our folding done and out of the way. So I'll go ahead and write fold clothes for myself also. I'm not gonna worry about writing all of those other little things for my daughter because again, she has her checklist and she keeps track of all of her other little things like folding her clothes and making her bed on that checklist. But for myself, I'll put fold clothes in that morning block. Now this template here can really be handy if you have multiple children with multiple schedules, maybe you have an older child that's in high school, maybe you have someone in college who works and does school, and maybe they have a block in the middle of the day where they get their chores done, and just kind of check in with the family members at the end of the day. Okay, did you get this done today? Go all the way down the list for all of the blocks and all of the people and say, did we get it all done? Is there anything else we need to do before bed? Now, the other thing I will add on here for me, if you've watched my other cleaning routine videos, you know that I add grocery shopping to my cleaning routine because I don't like grocery shopping. It's a chore for me and it wears me out. I really don't like it. I don't like shopping in general and grocery shopping is just another type of shopping to me. So I tend to write that on my chore routine to make sure that I get it done. I don't push it off all week long. Now, I know in the past I said I will go and do the grocery shopping in the morning block, get that done, get it out of the way. But between all of the swimming now and all of the running around, it just doesn't work well for us to still do that in the morning. So what we do currently is on Wednesday evenings, either my husband or I will go to the grocery store. And typically we will do this right after dinner and we'll just ask each other, hey, do you feel like going to the grocery store or do you feel like putting the kids to bed? I'll usually give him the option because he's kind of here at the house all day long, doesn't really get to interact with the kids much or go out and do other things. So I'll just kind of see what he prefers. And as long as I don't have to do both of those activities, it takes something off my plate. So yeah, Wednesday evening is just go grocery shopping, get that done and make sure that we have everything for the week. So I'm just going to write in the evening block on Wednesday, grocery shop. And I think that is all that I will be putting on this calendar. There are obviously other cleaning things that I do during the day, like cleaning up after the meals and things like that, cooking. And there's a lot of little things that go into keeping the house running smoothly. But for me, these are the main chores that I do during the week and the big things that I need to remember to do. All of the other things kind of just happen on autopilot at this point and I don't have to write it down and remind myself. So I hope you found this helpful if you need to coordinate chores with your children. And I hope I explained it well enough. For some reason, it didn't feel like my 
words were coming to me very easily. So if you have questions, please put those in the comments down below. And if you just say, hey, that wasn't very clear, can you do it again? Let me know, I'd be happy to do it again and try to explain it better because I really want this to be helpful for you guys and I know how much it has helped us and especially now I can see how much it helped my older daughter really gain confidence in her chores and now I really don't have to be involved at all. So I definitely think it's worth it to take the time to coordinate the chores with your children. As always, I'm Cassie with makingtimeforgiggles.com and I make videos all about how to simplify your life. So if that sounds like something you would be into, please subscribe down below and ring the bell next to it because I would love to see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.